Hi everyone, it's Justin and I promised you this video a while ago. It's a tutorial to help you find glasses that work well with your face shape. What I'm going to show you applies to both men and women, to regular glasses and to sunglasses because in fact it's a matter of proportions in general. After showing you the shapes and going through the different types of glasses that work well for each shape, I'll give you further tips and things to keep in mind when shopping for glasses. What I will not tackle today is how to find out which shape you have. I'm assuming you know that already. I've tackled that in a previous video, which I will link here and in the description below. So if you don't know your shape yet, go have a look there. Here are the main shapes. Round, oval, square, diamond, heart, and I added the triangle for those of you who did not identify with the other shapes last time. Okay, let's go. A round face. If you're round, you'll want to balance out the roundness of your face, so to speak, by looking into glasses that have angles, that are angular. A perfect solution is a square frame like this one. It's quite business-like. The good thing about square glasses is that they're quite trendy at the moment. So you'll find plenty of options at your store. Sunglasses are often squared anyways. They cover the eye and all around, which is actually good to protect your eyes from the sun, <laughs> not to be underestimated. And if you have a round face, I would make sure that the frame is not larger than your eye line here, not larger than your cheekbones, because your face is already quite proportioned horizontally and vertically anyways. So it would make your face look even wider if the glasses were too wide, so make sure they stay inside your face. An oval face. If you're oval, in theory, you can sport any type of glasses, just like you could do any hairstyle. Lucky you. Ovals and long ovals, what I am, work the same way when it comes to glasses, I think. So I would like to show you for myself two types of frames that I've been playing with. The first one is square, but with rounded angles and a bit oversized. Since an oval face is anyways higher than is wide, you can't really go for glasses that are a bit higher. They're not going to cover your face too much. You're not going to disappear behind the glasses. And if you're talking about sunglasses, then you could frankly go for super oversized ones. It works really well, I think, on oval faces. And then the other type of frame that I like on an oval face is mono eyebrow, <laughs> where you have an horizontal line here at the top of the frame, a straight line. I like that on sunglasses and I prefer when the sunglasses end on the eyebrow or above them, but that's my personal taste and it's up to you to decide. Do you want glasses to end below the eyebrow, on it or above it? If above it, then you are very likely to have an oversized frame to start with, but that's perfect if that's your choice. A square face. People who have a square face usually would like to balance out a strong jawline or they have the impression that their jawline is especially uh, visible. In fact, if you wear rounded glasses like those, you're already breaking the square visually. Alternatively, if you don't like the full Harry Potter look, <laughs> you could also take lying ovals, lying horizontally, to have the same effect, but a bit more regular <laughs> frames. And I would always look at the width of the frame, like for oval faces. Stay inside the width of your face, don't go wider than, than the face, stay inside, otherwise it will again give the impression that your face is wider than it is high. A diamond face. If you are a diamond, then your eye line, your middle line here is the widest and you have a proportionally narrower forehead. So you'll want to add volume to the top of your face, to that area, which you can do wonderfully as a lady with cat eye frames something that's pointy in the upper corners or any shape that goes upwards and outwards will give the impression that your forehead is wider. For the gentlemen, the equivalent would be glasses a la mad men with a heavier frame at the top and barely anything visible under the lenses. A heart face. If you are a heart, then in your case, the forehead is the widest part of your face. It's the opposite of the diamond. You don't want to add volume to the top, you want to add volume to the lower part of your face. Perfect glasses to do that are aviators because they go down a little bit to your cheekbones, so to speak. Guess who is the wearer of aviators? Jennifer Aniston, who is also the heart shape. <laughs> she chooses her glasses and her hairstyle perfectly for her face shape. That's something that her stylist got really, really right. 
She also wears aviators, not just as sunglasses, but also as reading glasses, in case you were thinking that aviators only work as sunglasses. Uh -uh. They also work as regular glasses and hipsters will confirm what I'm saying. And I also think that rimless glasses look really nice on heart shapes, but that's a more, more conservative, a bit less modern type of glasses. A triangle face. If your jawline is the widest part and here and here is narrower than your triangle, you will have the same strategy as a diamond person. Add volume to the top of your face, which you can do very nicely again with cat eyes perfect frame for you, or, and I really want to suggest that one because I really like it, oversized squares. That's the so-called nerd frame, but I really like that style and I think it adds personality. As a general rule, if you're trying to find glasses to bring balance to your face, then it's always better to have visible frames all around because you can reshape, shape your face thanks to the frame. If you're taking rimless glasses or glasses that just have a fine metal frame, then the effect is not as strong. It's also a stronger effect if you're taking sunglasses compared to prescription glasses, because with a dark shape over your eyes, of course, the effect on your face is much stronger. More tips for all shapes. When you go glasses shopping, don't just look at the frames from the front, as we did so far. <laughs> also look at them from the side. If your face is flat, if you have that feeling, then go for glasses that are rounded. If you feel that your face is rather round, then you can go for flat, straight glasses. Makes sense. Then the question of the nose bridge. <laughs> to bridge or not to bridge? You know those little two feet that sit on your nose, especially if the glasses are made of metal, so you can actually wear them without cutting your nose. That's what they're for. Do you need that or not? If you think that your nose is long, Having a nose bridge means that the glasses sit lower on the nose. Hop. So it makes your nose look visually shorter. If you don't feel like your nose is especially long or you never thought about that issue anyways, then you don't need a nose bridge. Most glasses nowadays are made of plastic. They have integrated mini, uh, mini corners here. That's enough. If you don't need a nose bridge, if you don't have nose issues, you're fine with that, I think. Having said that, when you have a nose bridge, the glasses don't slide downwards as much as when you don't. So you don't have to push them upwards, as you would have to do with plastic glasses. Which color should glasses have? A color that flatters your undertone, because the glasses are literally right next to your skin. You need the color to look good on you. You don't want the glasses to make you look washed out and tired. It's an accessory you'll be wearing every day of the year, so it really has to fit. Also, what about your wardrobe? because the glasses will also be combined with the rest of your closet. I would say when you choose glasses, the color, pay attention to your skin and to your closet. If you look at my glasses, they're actually not black, which is a color people often choose by default. Mine are dark green, but not that visible. So it's okay when I'm wearing black and it's also okay when I'm wearing colors. Next point, prescription glasses can make your eyes look smaller or bigger. In my case, I'm nearsighted, so I see well from up close and not that well from afar and not at all from across the street. <laughs> so what to do to avoid that eye minimizing effect when people look at you through your glasses? First thing is the material of the lenses. You have glass, you have plastic, you have different things. Plastic lenses are usually thinner, so you would have less of that eye minimizing effect when people look at you. The other thing is how close are the glasses sitting next to your face. The closer the glasses are to your eyes, the less zoom in or zoom out effect you're gonna have through the lenses. Did this video help? If yes, thumbs up. Thank you so much. As always on this channel, I give you the theory, the thinking, the proportions. You are free to break the rule. I'm the last person who would say that's the only way of doing things. If you want to wear square glasses on a square face, round glasses on a round shape, whatever you like, please do so and be my guest. If you have questions left, feel free to write them down below. And if you decide to subscribe to my channel, which I would be very flattered about, make sure to also activate that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you Wednesday and Sunday, as every week. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.